What is going on, sports fans, SEC fans, Tennessee fans? March Madness is underway. Watching the Auburn uh, Charleston game. Auburn's up 38 33 right now with about 12 and a half minutes left. And it looks like Kansas State's going to beat Crichton, which I did pick that game. I picked uh, Kansas State over Crichton. So another win in the column for my bracket. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a lot of sports going on, a lot of basketball. And uh, definitely looking forward to watching some more basketball games tonight. Of course, Virginia, uh, they tip off uh, here in a little bit. And I'll be flipping over to that game, kind of going back and forth. It's just kind of what happens, throwing them up on, on the television, on the uh, on uh, multiple screens but uh but yeah let's just go get right into some picks for uh for tomorrow saturday st patty's day so hopefully you guys enjoy st patrick's day tomorrow uh wishing you guys all the best and be safe out there for that but we got uh, eight games tomorrow of course two in each region and so let's go ahead and get underway all right so the first game that uh, i'm calling is uh kentucky buffalo and uh kentucky wildcats of course uh, they they had a good game the other night. Uh, played tough against uh, Davidson, and of course uh, Buffalo just they thumped Arizona uh, in, in a shocker uh, there. I mean they just came out to play, and I mean if they come out with the same fire and vigor that they did against Arizona, you know to, Kentucky could be in some trouble. But I think Kentucky will pull off the win. I got them going to the Sweet 16. The next game uh, in the South region is Loyola, Tennessee, and I will get to that game prediction here in a minute. Uh, so moving on to the West is Gonzaga versus Ohio State. I actually had Ohio State losing to South Dakota State in an upset, uh, but they, they beat South Dakota State uh, and moved on. A lot of people were concerned about Gonzaga's struggles uh, against UNC uh, Greenville, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. I think uh, Gonzaga will come out strong and they will beat ohio state uh the other game is going to be michigan and houston and man you know michigan is a tough team and i got uh, i got michigan advancing in that one as well so moving on to the east is villanova and alabama and this is going to be an interesting game because alabama played played a pretty good game the other night against uh, Virginia Tech and they shot the three ball pretty well and if they could do that against Villanova they could keep this game close however I think Villanova is just way too strong uh, and I got them going to the final four for sure <laughs> so and I'll bring you guys more of that coverage uh, in a couple days but uh, but yeah I got Villanova beating Alabama uh, next is Florida Texas Tech and uh, you know uh, Florida they handled uh, uh, St. Bonaventure uh, Hanley the other night and then of course Texas Tech uh, beat uh, Austin and so I got Florida advancing so go SEC I think we're going to go pretty deep in this tournament with, with the SEC teams which is really really good uh, I like that and I, I did that in the previous video so you guys can kind of check that that video out and uh and yeah so moving on to the midwest is uh, kansas versus seton hall and uh of course i picked uh, i picked wichita state against uh against seton or, i'm sorry north carolina state against uh the against seton hall but uh, seton hall won uh but uh, i think kansas is just too strong a lot of people got kansas going all the way as well so then the, the final game is going to be rhode island and duke and you know duke is definitely going to win this one in my opinion i don't think there's going to be much of a contest uh there so yeah those are my picks uh hopefully you guys uh will be following along with your brackets let me know uh how you think i'm doing with my bracket not not doing too bad right now so uh i'm very encouraged the teams that uh, that i picked to win and ended up losing i have them all losing in the second round anyway uh so not too worried about my bracket. But let's get to that Loyola-Tennessee game with a little pregame here. You know, uh, Tennessee played a great game uh, the other night against Wright State. And give all, all due credit to Wright State because, I mean, they're, they're a tough team and they're very good uh, in their division. Uh, and I just I think that uh, Tennessee is just going to be, be dominant again in, versus Loyola. 
Um, you know, if our big men play, Schofield and Williams, uh, they play ball. I want to see Grant Williams step up a little bit more. He had a decent game the other night or the other day, but uh, but I want him to to step up and be more dominant in the paint and uh, get that little Charles Barkley duck in move that he, that he does so well. But I expect Schofield to have another uh, great game. I would love to see Lamonte Turner have another great game. Of course, he had like 19 points the other day. A uh, huge game for the SEC sixth man of the year. We definitely, uh, definitely enjoyed his presence being known uh, the other day against Wright State. Uh, but another player I want to see step up is is Bone. I, I think Bone uh, is going to pick it up here uh, in the tournament, and, and we're going to see a game here, hopefully in the next game or two, where Bone just goes off and has another monster night, like scoring like 20-something points. And so be looking for that. Um, so I'm definitely expecting uh, Tennessee to win. Uh, I think we're going to have another 20-point victory against Loyola tomorrow. So I'm, I'm going to go about uh, 82 to, to 62 is going to be my, my prediction here for the game. But I think it's going to be a good game. A lot of great games. A lot of uh, more. Oh, I think there's like seven more games on tonight that I'm going to be flipping back and forth on. So going to be watching those. Or so, but anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will catch you guys tomorrow with some more March Madness. This is Honest Dave signing off.